This video is on the broadsword, also known as the Dao. So it looks like this. This is a thick blade. It's not sharpened, but otherwise it's a pretty realistic weapon to train with. And in this video I'm going to show a very short basic form with the broadsword as well as some ways to train with it. But first of all, just briefly, there's this tassel. Some people say it's for having the blood run down here to soak up the blood. Some people say it's for distraction. I say it's more of a modern wushu thing because it looks prettier when you also got this. But this is not important. What, Im what is important is you got the point, which is sharp, and you can stab like this. Or if you want to make sure to penetrate the ribs, in between the ribs, then do it like this. And then there's this whole side of the blade, which would be sharp, and for cutting and slashing, and a lot of the strikes are in close so typically you'll hold the sword about this distance from your body so it's pretty rare that you'll extend it out and this side is not sharp so if you're blocking then you can grab on here for support you can use it to push down and even to stabilize if you're gonna move into the target with a thrust and it's right the other way then there's also the butt of the weapon the pommel which can be used just for a single strike just for blunt force if you don't wanna kill your opponent and yeah I guess I guess that's about it. An important movement is this sort of thing. And also the other way. You want to make sure that you're not hitting with this side of the blade when you're cutting. So you want to get some clean cuts. Yeah. Now, let's move on to a simple form I learned practicing Kung Fu. So, it goes something like this. It's been a while. Yeah, and that's the form. There's a lot of more complex, longer forms. But this one shows a lot of things, like it shows two blocks. So you block one way, and then you turn down the sword. So imagine there's a sword striking at you. First you block it, and then you turn it over, which would allow you to move in or do something else. And there's, of course, the head wrapping motion yeah now let's see some other ways you can practice with a broadsword so you can practice some conditioning with uh, the stance you may have seen it before it's called Mabu in Chinese it's also common in karate it's a Japanese term which I don't know because I've only practiced Kung Fu and you can make sure that you are balanced by placing the sword here. So once it falls down just like that, that's because you're beginning to tremble a bit too much. Then, let's see what else. You can place it on the ground. And then you can do push-ups. You have your nose touch it. So you can do like this. Or even like this. Mm. 
damn that's tricky <laughs> having your nose touch it anyways so now I'm gonna do some improvisation because it's important to not only practice forms I also have done a lot of sparring so a link to a sparring video with the broadsword you can find sparring with both animal styles as well as more sander like techniques as well as broadsword the kung fu fan the guandao and all kinds of weapons hook swords I think I've used pretty much all kung fu weapons by now in sparring anyways so some improvised moves Yeah, that's about it. So I hope this gave you some ideas for practicing with the broadsword. Now, I recommend getting one with a thick blade like this, at least if you practice for a while. To begin with, it's a little easier controlling the lighter swords, but eventually you want to use one like this, which is more realistic. Thanks for watching.